Have you ever wondered why airplane food tastes so different from food on the ground? Well, one factor that affects the taste of airplane food is the cabin pressure. In this video, we'll dive into the science behind how cabin pressure affects your taste buds and explore some interesting facts about airplane food. Firstly, let's talk about how cabin pressure affects your taste buds. When the airplane climbs to cruising altitude, the cabin pressure drops, and the air becomes thinner. This decrease in air pressure affects our ability to taste food, making it more difficult to perceive the full range of flavors. In fact, studies have shown that our sense of taste decreases by as much as 30% at high altitudes. But that's not all. Cabin pressure can also affect our sense of smell, which plays a crucial role in our sense of taste. As the cabin pressure drops, our nasal passages can become congested, making it harder for us to smell the food. This can further diminish our ability to taste food and can make it taste bland or unappetizing. So, why does airplane food taste different from food on the ground? Airline catering companies have to compensate for the decrease in taste and smell perception by adding extra salt, sugar, and spices to the food. These additives can enhance the flavors and make the food taste better at high altitudes. Airline catering companies have to take into account the fact that at high altitudes, our taste buds can be less sensitive due to the low humidity and the dry air. To counteract this, airlines often add more seasoning and spices to their dishes to enhance the flavor. Additionally, food is often served in smaller portions on flights, as our sense of smell and taste can be affected by cabin pressure and altitude. Furthermore, the lack of humidity in the cabin can also affect the texture of certain foods. For example, bread can become dry and stale more quickly, so airlines often opt for denser bread or rolls that can hold up better. On the other hand, fruits and vegetables can become dehydrated and lose their freshness, so they may be served with a dip or dressing to enhance their flavor and texture. Another factor that affects the taste of airplane food is the type of packaging used. Meals are typically served in plastic containers or foil trays, which can affect the way the food tastes and smells. Some airlines have experimented with more innovative packaging solutions, such as edible bowls or plates made from rice or wheat, which can help enhance the flavor and presentation of the food. In addition to these factors, airlines often choose their menus based on the destination and the length of the flight. For example, on long-haul flights, airlines may offer more substantial meals and snacks, while on shorter flights, they may opt for lighter options. Some airlines also offer meals that reflect the local cuisine of the destination, giving passengers a taste of the culture they're about to experience. Overall, the taste and presentation of airplane food is carefully considered and designed to withstand the unique conditions of air travel. From the ingredients used to the packaging, every detail is taken into account to ensure that passengers have an enjoyable dining experience in the air. In summary, the decrease in cabin pressure at high altitudes can affect our sense of taste and smell, making airplane food taste different from food on the ground. Airline catering companies have to compensate for this by adding extra spices and flavors to the food. So next time you're on a flight and wondering why the food tastes a bit off, remember that it's not you, it's the altitude. 